Hello everyone, this is the Mental Health for Life channel. Today's topic is, how long does it take to recover from depression? I was diagnosed with depression at a mental clinic and was told by the doctor that I would be cured in about three months, but before I knew it, I've been taking medication more than 10 years. I'm able to work, but when I stop taking the medication, I get sick again. We often hear stories like this. How long does it actually take to recover from depression? Is it possible to stop taking the medication? Usually, depression is said to naturally improve within about three months to one year by taking a rest. However, if the illness is caused by work stress, patients may return to their former workplace without fully recovering or without sufficient consideration given to their job responsibilities after returning to work. Despite having made progress in their recovery, they are subjected to the same stressors that caused their illness. There is data indicating that about half of the people experience a relapse because of these factors. A relapse is a return of depression that was supposed to be cured due to some triggering factor. When a bone is broken, the area where it has healed can become weaker and more prone to future fractures compared to other parts. If you exert the same level of stress on it as before, it will break again. Similarly, with depression, if you push yourself the same way you did when you first got sick, it can lead to a relapse. After a bone fracture, it is important to minimize the use of the fractured area and provide protection such as wearing a support brace. Likewise, in the case of depression caused by workplace stress, if you return to the same workplace without taking preventive measures, it is highly likely to recur. Medication treatment can speed up recovery and help prevent relapse. In mild cases of depression where rest is possible, medication may not be prescribed. However, in most cases, medication is used to promote faster recovery. Since the period around one year after improvement is the most vulnerable to relapse, medication is usually continued for at least one year to prevent recurrence, even after the patient feels better. However, in reality, it is more common for patients to continue taking the medication for more than a year after resuming work. This is because returning to the workplace often exposes individuals to similar levels of stress as when they first became ill, and even if they quit their stressful workplace and change jobs, it does not necessarily mean that they will do well there. As individuals get older, they may also face increased financial burdens, such as children's education costs and mortgage payments. As work responsibilities increase, so does the stress. Moreover, life is full of uncertainties, including health issues and accidents. Even when things start to settle down and it seems like it's time to stop medication, new stressors often emerge, leading many people to continue taking medication. It's not uncommon for individuals to take antidepressants not just for 10 years, but even throughout their entire working careers spanning 30 years. In general, there are no major issues with taking antidepressants for a long period of time. However, they can slow down the body's metabolism and increase appetite, which may lead to weight gain. It is essential to be mindful of diet and exercise to prevent developing metabolic syndrome. Regular health checkups are also important to monitor your overall well-being. In a society full of stress, it may be a good idea to consider depression cured if you can lead a normal daily life, even while taking preventive medication. You don't have to be perfectly healthy and free of illnesses as you age. If you can lead a healthy life even while taking medication, it can spare you unnecessary worry. Isn't it beneficial when a problem can be solved by taking medication instead of undergoing painful surgery or rehabilitation? So far, we have been discussing the experiences of people who have improved their depression with medication. However, the truth is that 30% of people with depression cannot return to work even after taking medication. This may be because their depression is not typical. One possibility is that they have an underlying developmental disorder and are experiencing secondary depression. Another possibility is that they do not have depression, but instead have bipolar disorder type 2. In other cases, patients may be trapped in vicious cycles of loneliness and financial difficulties and unable to find a path to recovery. There are also people who cannot access medical care or medication in the first place. It would be good to have public support systems and safe workplaces for people in these situations, but unfortunately they may not be available in all countries or regions. In such cases, 
Although it may seem idealistic, it is important to refrain from depending on drugs or alcohol. Instead, it is advisable to minimize stress, maintain a consistent daily routine, and avoid pushing oneself too hard. We sincerely hope that the knowledge of mental health issues expands globally and support systems that can help many people become more widespread. This was the Mental Health for Life channel. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.